G'day guys, we've got a financial accounting question today where we've got a company that's going to undertake a share issue in order to raise funds so it can expand into the global marketplace. So on October the 10th, 2019, the company issued a prospectus offering 300,000 ordinary shares payable in full on application at an issue price of $4 a share. The shares were fully subscribed and closed on the 5th of November 2019. The directors allotted the shares on the 15th of November and the share issue costs of $40,000 were also paid on the 15th of November 2019. So the question is asking us to prepare the journal entries needed to record the cash share issue and subsequent share issue costs including any closing entries that might be required. So if this video ends up helping you guys and you think it'll help your friends, please share it with them. Also guys, if you want to like the video, comment down below what you liked about it, but also what you didn't like about the video so I can improve them for next time. That would be really great, thanks. Oh, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So first things first, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna calculate the total value of this uh, share offering or capital raising as well as take a mental note of all of the different pieces of important information enclosed within the question. So the first thing we've got is 300,000 ordinary shares at four bucks a share. So the value, let's just write it as V, is going to be equal to your 300,000 multiplied by four bucks a share. And as a result, we know that the total value of the, for the and as a result, we know the total value of the share offering is going to be $1.2 million. Now we just make also make a mental note that our costs of this is going to be 40 grand. And if this was my exam, guys, I'd then go in the question and underline all of the key dates. So we have the 15th of November, that's also the 15th of November, and we have the 5th of November up here. The 10th of October 2019, that's when the company issues the prospectus. So nothing really happens there. They just put a glossy flyer out into the public domain for people to look at, which is we don't really need to account for that. So the next step, guys, and I believe this is the most important step in ensuring that you get questions like this consistently correct when you're faced with them in exams, is to actually understand and commit to memory what the capital raising process is. So let's just go through that quickly and make a mental note of what parts are going to require accounting and what parts are just there and you just need to know that they exist. So the first thing is that we've got to advertise and invite investors to subscribe to the stock offering. So that's not going to require a accounting entry. The next thing is interested investors apply for an allotment of the advertised stock and depending on the terms of the capital raising they'll either provide a full payment or part payment of the uh, value of the shares that they're applying for. So that is going to require a accounting entry. The next one is the application window closes. There always has to be an end date. The next step is the company stock is allotted. So people are given that their shares. So that is going to require an accounting entry. The next thing is the investment bank or the underwriter that is doing the public offering transfers the proceeds of that public offering to the company. So in this case, it's going to be the 1.2 million. And Finally, the company then pays the underwriter or the investment bank for their services. And this is the most important thing, and it's the thing that a lot of people stuff up when they're in exams. This is not an expense. It's a reduction in the company's equity. So let's get to it. So the first entry that we're going to record is dated from the closure of the application period, or the 5th of November 2019 and is done to both record the transfer of money from subscribers to a trust account controlled by the underwriter of this stock offering, as well as record this new obligation that the company has to provide these investors with equity. So to start with, we're gonna date it from the closure of the application period, or the 5th of November, 2019. Now we're gonna record the transfer of money to a trust account, which is controlled by the underwriter. So we're gonna debit a trust account, so this is going to be for the total value of the stock offering, which is 1.2 million. And the associated credit that is going to go with this is to record the obligation that the company now has. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, create an account called like an application account to record the fact that the company in the future is going to have to provide these investors with equity in the business. So the credit is going to be application and that is also for 1.2 million. 
So the note is going to be the application money is received for 300,000 ordinary shares at four bucks a share. Now it's important that in this annotation, we make note of how many ordinary shares are on offer and what the purchase price is for the investors. So it's very clear how we got to this $1.2 million number here. So the next entry is going to record the allotment of the 300,000 ordinary shares on the 15th of November, as well as the transfer of the money from the underwriter from its trust account to the company's bank accounts. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to record the allotment of the shares on the 15th of November. So dated the 15th of November, the first thing we're going to do is debit the liability, which was this application or the shares which are owing to these investors. And that's going to be for 1.2 million. And the associated credit is going to be an ordinary share capital account, which is part of the company's equity accounts. And the associated annotation for this entry is the allotment of 300,000 ordinary shares fully paid at four bucks a share. So now that satisfied the liability or obligation that the company had to its investors, or you could say the investors have been compensated for the transfer of their money with shares, the underwriter can release the proceeds of this share issue from escrow or the trust account to the company's bank accounts. So on the 15th of November as well, we can write that again if you like. We're going to debit the company's bank accounts. So we'll debit cash at bank for 1.2 mil. And we'll also credit this trust account, which is controlled by the underwriter for the 1.2 million as well. And we'll annotate this transfer of proceeds from capital raising. So finally, we need to record the payment of the costs associated with the share issue. And these are going to be in two steps. First of all, we're going to record the movement of the cash. And then we're going to record the associated reduction in the equity account ordinary share capital. So let's again, let's date it. And the first thing we're going to do is debit the expense share issue costs. And that's going to be for 40,000. And credit the company's bank accounts. So we're going to reduce our bank accounts by $40,000. And this is to record the payment of costs associated with the offering. Okay, now we're going to record the associated reduction in the company's equity account ordinary share capital. So we're going to debit ordinary share capital for $40,000 and we're going to credit share issue costs. So this is going to be annotated with the transfer of share issue costs. So there you have it. There are the accounting entries required to record the issue of 300,000 shares by Timberpool at four bucks a share, as well as the payment of the associated costs. So before I let you guys go, I'd just like to go over the um, method that I use to remember how to do these particular accounting entries when I got to exams and things like that. So with any kind of share issue, you've got to break it down into three different parts. And that's what I've done with the colors here. There was a method to my madness. The first part is the application of the shares. The allotment of the shares is the second part. And finally, the payment of the costs. So with the application of the shares, the investor's money goes into trust. So that's why we have this trust account here. And the application liability is created. So after the investors have put their money into this trust account, the company now owes them the shares for that money. So on to the next step, which I've colored in red. So after the application window closes, every successful investor will be allotted shares or stock in the company as a way of fulfilling their obligation due to the investor's payment of money to the underwriter. To fulfill this obligation, what we're going to do is we're going to reverse this liability here, the ordinary share capital application account, and increase the equity account ordinary share capital by $1.2 million. Once the underwriter sees that the obligation has been fulfilled, i.e. the shares have been transferred to these new investors, the underwriter will transfer the associated funds from the trust account, which we credit, to the company's own bank accounts, which are increased with a debit. And finally, once the company has received the money from this share issue, they will be required to pay the cost to the investment bank or the underwriter for their services. 
So in this part, you're gonna to have to record the outflow of cash from the company to the investment bank. So here I've done that in crediting cash at bank. I put an associated debit in share issue costs, which I'll reverse in the next entry. We also have to record the associated reduction in the company's equity, which is done by debiting ordinary share capital account. This share issue cost here is done specifically to reverse this share issue cost here. If you get to the point, this point here at the bottom, guys, you're finished. You have successfully prepared the journal entries required to record the cash share issue and subsequent share issue costs for Timberwool LTD. So I hope that video helped, guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, I'm only new and I need all the subscribers that I can get so I can put this video in front of as many eyeballs as possible. But guys, questions like this, they take a bit of practice. You have to go over and over and over again so you remember these three steps and what to do at each step. But again, not overly complicated if you remember the three steps. You just have to make sure you don't make any silly mistakes with your entries. So just keep on plugging away guys, keep on bashing your head against the wall, eventually that wall will fall down. If you have any problems with this video or any of the ways that I've explained it, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll try and address them as quickly as possible. But until next time guys, just keep on plugging away and I know it's difficult but try and enjoy your accounting. And I'll see you next time.